There's a new search feature in Photoshop 2020. A search for information about the application, but it's also search for presets. Now, I've never really had much need for that. I normally search for them very quickly, easy myself, by going through all the various structure and finding the preset. But you may have some favorites that you like to use and you've named. That's the key thing, because if they're not named, it's going to be tricky to find them. So go to brushes and you can find all these panels here. Brushes, uh, patterns, shapes, and gradients. You can see them here. But what you can do, you've got another search feature at the top. So say you want to, and I'm obviously going to, because it's visible, it makes it much easier. You think, oh, you know what? I want to find the soft round brush. Well, what you have to do, you can just type soft, S-O-F-T, and then you will find there. So you have to know the name, of course. So if you don't know what the name of it, you think, oh, you know what, it's sort of like something like something. You, It won't find it for you. It won't come up with some suggestions. It'd be nice if it did that, because you might not remember exactly. But say you want like an oil brush or a watercolor. So a water one. Now yeah, water. You type in there. So it just comes up with watercolor. Or, oh, I think an ink one would be nice. So ink. So it comes up with the ink brushes. That you, obviously, if you get a bit further on, it will get rid of all of the others. So you just go as far as you want and you've got all the ink brushes quickly at hand. That's quite useful, but it does require you to name them. So if, if you just remove those, and I probably haven't got any in here, but say this one, sample brush. Now I should name that. So if I name it, rename brush. Uh, star brush one, the star brush one. So now suddenly I think, you know what? I've got a brush. Something about stars. I can always just go in here and go star brush. And of course, there's a number of other ones that are called star. But say it's star brush, and I've got star brush one. So it's best to even probably name it something a bit more uh, original than star brush one. So that's brushes. We can do that, and with shapes. You got here now. I've got a problem where I've uh, most of mine. I've just called shape seven hundred twenty-seven, shape seven hundred eighty. That is not going to be so useful. So, uh, so you maybe go there and right click and rename that shape to super starburst. So if you renamed it that and you think my shape that I want is super starburst, straight away you can find that shape, and that's useful because you might have like. Tree shapes. So you've got tree shapes. Obviously, got, you can see trees there. That's why I've chose that name. Tree. Or maybe you've got, you want a check mark. Check mark. So you've got chess of and checkers. Legacy ones. Or if, Now, of course, it's probably not listed as tick. So, no. Yeah. In the UK, tick. But you may be like looking for a bear. So you've got a bear shape. So it's key. Oh, I couldn't find that. That's strange, maybe it isn't called that, but say that boats. So you've got boats here. Boat. A masted. So that's masted. So I can search for masted. You have to spell it correctly, otherwise it won't find it. So there is most a masted boat. So that shapes. So it's a really great new feature in 2021. Patterns again. Now you've got all these various patterns here. And this one, I don't know what this one is. Sometimes you don't. Oh, right diagonal line. That's a memorable one to remember. So you can just see, oh, it's a right diagonal line. So straight away, right diagonal line. And you can find the right diagonal lines that they've got on offer. Or if you've got stones or something, say so stone, and you've got all your surfaces. So you can quickly find your stone designs without having to waste time going through hundreds and hundreds of designs looking for them. So I think it's quite useful feature. And you can likewise do this in gradients. Now with my gradients, most of the gradients, I call them gradient one, gradient two, gradient three, that's not going to be so useful. So uh, so you want to say search for purple. I can obviously see purple there. So I'm just going to go purple. Misspell purple. Purple. And you can see all the purples. Maybe you want reds. So all the reds. And so you've got red underscore O1, red underscore O2. And also you've got, of course, all these other ones. So you might think, oh, yellow green. So yellow and green. And you can find your yellow green ones. So that's that for searching presets. Really super useful feature. 
but it does require you to name everything when you created the preset, make certain it's got a really good name that really describes it perfectly, and then you can find it very quickly using this new feature for search. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to Graphic Extra channel. Always have new tutorials about Photoshop 2021, obviously beyond, and also Illustrator, Creative Cloud, Affinity Photo, and many, many others. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.